Hello everyone, welcome back to Lincoln Journal Stars 4 Downs. Luke Mona and Amy just coming at you from a very cold Memorial Stadium. I think it was just a couple weeks ago, it was nice and sunny out here, but cold and sunny now. Um, a few more updates to pass on, of course, about the team today, starting with offensive coordinator Mark Whipple sporting a boot today. Yeah, so he got rolled up on last week for everyone who watched the game and read the updates. And we talked to him today getting his take on things. Um, so he has a sprained MCL in his knee, and then he got rolled up on his foot as well. So that's why he's wearing the boot. Um, but he feels fine. Um, just a little unsteady at times, um, but that's to be expected. Uh, he will uh, call plays from the box for the remainder of the season. You don't want, um, even though he wants to be down on the field, he knows it's best for him to be up. Um, he's only been in the box one time ever in his career. That was in 2008, and that's when he wasn't calling plays. So it'll be an adjustment for him, but so we move on. Yeah, just good to see him back out yeah, there, you absolutely. know, you know, maintaining a positive attitude about the whole thing obviously so that was good uh, but of course quarterback updates you know on the top of everyone's mind and Whipple saying he's more encouraged about Casey Thompson's status um, you know we're we'll still have a couple days of practice to see you know how well he's able to throw the ball uh, you know leading into this game this week against Wisconsin and of course next man up Jarrett Sinek walk-on freshman redshirt freshman from Hastings high praise from Whipple saying he was one of those guys you know during the spring had some pretty good you know practices pretty good live periods and when they were trying to go live he was one of the first guys out there uh, ready to go in that in that regard so Whipple very encouraged by Sinek and you know just one of those one of those cases where at the start of the year, I mean, he would have been buried on the depth chart, but now it's his chance. You know, he got a couple snaps there against Michigan. And he'll be ready to go for the next one. Yeah, absolutely. And for the next one, um, it's against Wisconsin this weekend. And when you're a team that is out of bowl eligibility with two games left of the season, you have to try to find things to play for other than, you know, just the pride of finishing out strong and looking for wins down the road. Well, this one would be a big one, and they're using that. Nebraska hasn't beaten Wisconsin since 2012. It's 10 years ago. And they haven't shied away from that. Um, Mickey Joseph wrote it on the whiteboard in one of the team meetings. And Bill Bush talked about that today where, you know, this one would be a big one. And it's not just because it's Wisconsin. It would be senior day, too. Absolutely. I mean, and kind of the program that Nebraska was chasing for a few years there, kind of falling off recently. You know, Wisconsin is still competing for those Big Ten West titles, even if they're down this year. Uh, so, yeah, an important historical one. And to, in that regard, you know, helping the effort, safety Miles Farmer, he's back practicing, responding well, said Bill Bush. And also very key, getting Isaac Gifford back to the nickel spot. He filled in at safety. Phelan Sanford got a little uh, dinged up, you know, couldn't really play for most of that game. So Gifford had to fill in at safety. Good versatility from a guy who's played there already. But, you know, more of the, the packages that Nebraska wants to run defensively. Farmer, Farmer will be there at safety and nickel. Uh, will be filled by Gifford, of course. So we'll be interested to see, uh, you know, next couple of days of practice. We'll keep you updated on the quarterback status as we hear it. And we'll be here, of course, for final home game of the year, Wisconsin. See if it's as chilly as it was today. But appreciate all of you tuning in to today's Four Downs. For Amy Just, I've been Luke Mullen. Thanks for watching.